Alright guys, welcome back. So, today is just a video, an uh, informative video, um, because Roblox recently released a new feature where you can customize the FPS in-game for yourself. And that changes something uh, for developers um, with using run service. So, in-game you can now go into the settings tab here and configure your FPS. And yeah, that changes something with run service. And Roblox actually has um, a post about this on the dev room, like here. And yeah, you just uh, check this out and I'm gonna explain this a bit. So, the old method was uh, just we're gonna take a part as an example that is gonna spin because this is also the example in the dev forum post then we are uh, um we have this code just another script and yeah this um we can just check this out what this does if we uh, run the game and you're gonna see the part is just gonna spin like normally. Uh, we are currently at 240 FPS, but if we are gonna lower our uh, FPS, you will notice something. You're gonna notice that uh, the part is way slower. You see it's a little bit faster when we go up to 120 or to 144 FPS. That's because um, run service is running every frame. And if we have more frames, it's gonna run more often. So the part is gonna rotate faster. So now how we counter this is basically by using delta time. You may ask now, what is delta time? Well, simply said, it's... Um, just um, used to make sure that movement and other time dependent behaviors like run service uh, uh, are consistent regardless of the actual frame rate. That's basically what delta time is. It's completely, it doesn't matter if your frames are 30 FPS, 60 FPS, or 240 or whatever. Um, yeah. And how uh, now you may ask, how can we do that um, in Roblox Studio? Roblox has also an example on this post that is gonna be linked in the description. You can just copy this and paste this here. And you will see, we again have this run service uh, function. And now here's a uh, here we have a delta time, delta time sim, and that is a number. Um, yeah. And what we are basically doing here is we are um, multiplying our degrees per second by the delta time. And let's just uh, let me just show you what it does first, and then I'm gonna explain it. Oh, yeah, how it works. So now uh, you see this part is rotating like this with 140 for FPS. If you change this to uh, 60, you're gonna notice uh, the speed doesn't change. It's not rotating any faster regardless of our current FPS. Uh, yeah, that's what this does. It even says here, Delta is the number of seconds since the last post simulation call. That is basically what we are doing here. So Delta time is basically uh, the time from one frame to the other frame being rendered. That's basically uh, delta time and yeah you can see here that we are multiplying 
uh, our degrees per second times the delta time. That's pretty much what you always do in development, also in like other um, engines. I can put uh, you an example on the screen right now, because I also just recently started using Godot. And that's pretty much also what I do for moving our character there. But yeah, that was pretty much this little explanation. Um, it isn't really detailed, I know, but just clearing things up a bit, maybe. Um, yeah. So now, if you are using a run service, always make sure to use stellar time, because players can set their uh, FPS without a, uh, an FPS unlocker now, and that could give them some ex uh, give them some advantages or just make their game look different for other people, um, which you may not want. So. Yeah, take that in consider, uh, and yeah, the link to the different post is gonna be in the description. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.